Some people evacuated from the Sugar House fire still can't go home tonight, and there's not even a timeline on when they can return. Yeah, new specialist Lauren Steinbrecher is live on scene for us tonight where the demolition continues. And Lauren, I'm guessing that's why the evacuation is in place right now. Yeah, Mike and Dini, that's exactly why, because the building, believe it or not, is actually still on fire, which is why Salt Lake City Fire has their ladder truck out here tonight while demolition is going on at the same time. And some of those evacuated residents, including when we talked to, got an email from their apartment complex this evening explaining why they can't go home. Now, Stacy Jackson Roberts uh, right now is staying in a hotel with her two dogs, and she says that she was let back in briefly to grab uh, some belongings, just a small suitcase with clothes from her apartment, and then later got that email explaining that the apartments that are facing the complex that caught fire are not safe because the two top floors of the burnt building are not being held up by anything. So Stacey right now has no idea how long it'll take to demolish all of that. And so far, it sounds like she's not being given any estimates. Not knowing if this is going to be 24 hours, 72 hours a week or longer term, given that structure and the, the instability, it's really difficult to really make plans and figure out where we need to go. Um, you know, paying for hotel nights by the night versus a long term stay or working with my insurance company around setting up more uh, permanent temporary housing. Uh, Stacy says that she is actually paying for her hotel stay right now with friends chipping in to help while she's displaced. She's also worried about smoke damage to her apartment because it was so close. You know, if any cleanup would need to be done once she's allowed back in. So Salt Lake City Fire did tell me today that they expect to be out here for the next 72 hours, potentially fighting the fire in this building that still continues as that demolition work is going on. But they are expected to give an update at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. We'll be sure to be there and we'll be keeping everybody updated. Lauren Steinbrecher, KSL 5 News. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of those residents, Lauren, will be eager to hear any updates. Thanks. Mm -hmm.